first time I think the man humble servant me to Solomon name he said um we are here for no any other reason apart from to be free that is why IPOB is today have never been rested for a couple of 12 to 13 years now in the pursuit of our freedom and we understood that freedom is not a day issue freedom of a humanity takes time is all about determination consistency and persistence and that is why we are here you'll be wondering these people you saw yesterday is speaking about the same thing they are, they are still continuing yes uh, we understand the price for freedom and once it comes it never go back so that is why we always try to make sure we continue revibrating that echo of freedom and um, we are no any other people than indigenous people of biafra that was forced together by the british and which we are going to see today i just want to welcome so many of you that will be joining us we are not going to waste time today is sunday service as many of you know and i know why i'm always playing this um we have been washed with this and we're going to come out through this so that is why i know those days when you begin to hear this kind of hymn some of you have to go pimple some of you begin to cry we are going to use the same method they used to brought us in or we're going to use it to come out of that mess it's just a disease and uh, tonight we are going to pay attention to so many issues um we have tonight a major two topics that is bothering us which we are going to double into um as soon as possible as many of you know uh mazin Namdekano is also the leader of this monobu group and he has been illegally you know abducted and up to today the court has said grant him free let him go he committed no crime but guess what he's still in dss dungeon the question should be doesn't he have people in the government the second question is what of the youth of the nation don't they know that injustice to one is an injustice to all everybody must partake today may not be your turn tomorrow it will be your turn and that is why whenever we see evil we condemn it i want to thank ipo in a very very great way ipo has been the champion of you know condemning evil and the injustice that is going on in africa at large if you go to the internet today they don't care whether it's a biafra or not a biafra you see them they begin to share it begin to lambast begin to comment on it we don't care where the person is from the most important thing is to condemn evil whenever we see it um that is why we are very special people it's not our fault uh, you may say it's bragging that is your own cup of tea we have to praise ourselves indigenous people of biafra they are very special people um those that know what they are doing today we are going to watch a clip on how many of us become christians and we're also going to touch about what happened to us the role of missionaries in biafra land the role of missionaries in nigeria at large we are going to see the video clip we're also going to watch a reverend father a black reverend father pushing ipob away where they came to evangelize trying to destroy ipob from not disseminating their information a reverend father a biafran as that pushing ipob away not to come in and begin to tell the white people how we are being massacred so that was sometimes i told many of you to come back home let us begin to look in war that is where our problem lies Fulani is not our major problem. I have to repeat, and I know why I'm continuing repeating it. Fulani is never our problem. Fulani may be tertiary problem. The primary problem is those that are even wearing this thing. Those that are claiming to be Biafra. Then we now go to those that are Biafrans, but they don't like to see this. We are going to watch the Reverend Father in a video. Whatever I'm going to show here has been verified. I don't want to come and begin to tarnish people's image uh, because I know the consequences. And um, not only the consequences, it denigrates my prestige. So that anytime you see something coming out from me, you say, no, I know him is a propagandist. No, I am not a value to the infiltrator, as many of you know. Um, we are going to begin to see how we are massacred. This message will can only be go to some of our some of our idiotic morons who are claiming to be celebrities. When I see them dancing on social media, I share tears. When I see them brag, when I see them brag with their 4x4 four four upstairs, they carry security, they carry gun, you know, they are shooting gun, hailing them. I feel, I feel, I, I feel pain inside me. 
and I know this thing is going to be over one day. But to be honest with all of us that are watching, uh, the way we are going for this struggle is not the best way to achieve our freedom. Let us continue holding on until the man that started it comes out. Then we'll have to ask him question. The way we are progressing is not the way to get freedom, especially when it involves African soil. They need it in a hard way. They need it in a very, in a very brutal way that everybody will respect themselves. Freedom of speech, yes, is good, but it's not good when it involves putting other people in danger. No consequences, no precaution, no, no, no any other thing. Everybody do the things they like and they go free with it. And we are claiming that we are, we are, we are fighting in a very peaceful manner. You don't get your freedom unless you are here to, you know, to make them, and so that people will know you. We are going to hold them accountable. Now, let's go. Where do I start, my sister? Let us start with the voice of Monyendu. Um, he is the one that made us to made us to begin to speak for our freedom. Let us listen to him. Um, let me be sure that what I'm going to play will also correlate to the um, to the message I have tonight. Okay, let's go with this one. It's also okay. Every of his message makes sense. I will serve your children in truth and in honesty, diligently, without looking backwards. Never until Biafra comes and beyond. As for me, my personal mission is to ensure the destruction of the Zoological Republic. The word nigger will no longer exist. You got your river Niger from the word nigger, which means black. Black river. Is that river black to you? Or is it black to you? People don't know that Niger means nigger. Nigger in Latin, Niger in English, Niger in French. Bara. They are Nigerians, my food. Baboons and monkeys everywhere. Black people are useless. Very, very, they cannot reason very well. Niger, Nigerians means uh, people who occupy an area that a river is flowing through the Black River. Niger means nigger, black. Niger is English word for nigger. Nigger is Latin. Niger is French. It means black, hopeless and useless. And heaven knows we are. This UG, oh dear me. Very, very useless, I tell you. Black people, hopeless. Answering the name a white man gave to a river. You should be ashamed of all yourselves, all of you. I'm a Nigerian. Look at yourself in the mirror. You will see a baboon or a monkey. Go to the mirror right now and look at yourselves, you Nigerians, and see that you are either looking like a monkey or a baboon. This is Radio Biafra. We shall bring you our news headlines according to the summary because this day we must preach this gospel. Uh -huh. My goodness me. I don't know who we are today. They thought we are part of the nonsensical gathering of the idiots. They think we are compromisers, they think we are liars and we are kids. Like if Arjun Alebanyo was written, they think we can come out and say to people, you give us 52 million so we can build a radio station. If you give me 52 million, heaven knows we will own our own satellite in outer space. I tell you that. You. That is how evil men lie. That is why I tell you openly, I am not an evil man. I speak evil language. I am a Biafran. Because Biafrans don't lie. Evil men do. If Arjun Alebanyo was with the she called he's a liar. He has gone about telling them, oh, if you want us to be as famous as IPOB, if you want me, if Arjun Alebanyo was written, to be as famous as Nam Dekano, give me a radio station. And their stupidity of resource control. Has he given them freedom? The answer is none. Every day they are being subjected to ridicule. Somebody comes to your land and leaves oil worth two million dollars every day and gives you 65,000 naira in a month, you are an, a complete all-round idiot. That's something, but of course you're black. So it won't actually register in your brain, you see? That is why you're a black person, a baboon or a monkey, if you ask me. We are live and direct once again. You will allow me to preach this gospel. As I've been directed by heaven. 
heaven sent me not man. That is why anything we open our mouth to speak comes to pass. Man did not send me. Heaven did chukwa bia mazira nyozi. Oku nyozi nso ya kana kwa seba. Makadi ya mama. Oku ya mrana wonele. Immediately. My goodness me. We must continue to do our work. And this work must stand us in very good stead. There is nothing else we would rather do than to preach it. Our news headline this evening and accompanying news summary. With the time standing at exactly 16 minutes to 8, school of redemption, the gospel of restoration of the kingdom of heaven. How can we take us at once? Oh my goodness. Maybe that is what your pastor does. We don't do that here. Allow me, please, to proceed. APC chieftain, for those who don't know, APC is the governing party the same way that the Democrats are, uh, the the, uh, should I say, the presidency oh. of America is the Democrats. The governing party ever be in the same contraption with our Safulani? Here is the reason why. You must listen very carefully. Tonight is a lecture series, I'll tell you that. I understand that the very eminent barrister has been trying to get through to me, and I shall go to the barrister following the conclusion of our new sentence and accompanying you summary. Barrister, I will come to you via messenger. Wait for me. APC chieftain, this means a very prominent person in the ruling party. Listen carefully why you should not be in the same country with people that don't share the same value system with you. After this news, you will understand why the zoo called Nigeria is a joke. You will understand why I despise anybody called a Nigerian. You will understand my hatred, my, my insanity when it comes to the very damnable zoological republic. This is how the reason. And you will be wondering, are they human beings at all? You're wondering what this piece of news is. Very innocuous, I agree. But also very compelling. Mm. Listen carefully. APC Chitain calls for suspension of constitution to enable Buhari to perform. Allow me to repeat. I, I'm sorry to say that this type of news headline is only meant for those who are educated. Mm. In common sense, not paper education. I'm doing what Google see. Let me repeat this very news. It is not sensational, so you may, not, you may not actually grasp the full gravity, as I should say, or the gravity of the problem. But I will explain it to you very carefully. Somebody, a high-ranking officer in the ruling party of the zoo called Nigeria, APC, is calling for the suspension of the constitution to enable the ex-dictator and present dictator, the pedophile and terrorist, the sole administrator Buhari, the man who has been in power, there are no ministers, he has been in power selling oil and gas and collecting all the money. To allow him to perform, you must give him the powers of a dictator by suspending the constitution. In other words, for Buhari to perform, you need to dispense with democracy. For Buhari to perform, there is no need for democracy. For Buhari to perform, you don't need a constitution. For Buhari to perform, you don't need any rights whatsoever of people. For Buhari to perform, there is no freedom of speech. For Buhari to perform, there must be subjugation, intimidation, brutality, and extrajudicial killing. What I'm saying? Oh my goodness. The ruling party of the zoo is APC, one of the highest ranking officers. And let me tell you what will shock you. The name of the man that said this thing, he claims a doctor, Dr. Ibrahim Yakubu. He is meant to be a doctor. Which school did he go to? We have it. Does he understand the meaning of the word democracy? 
Buhari is behaving like a typical Islamic Brotherhood electoral candidate. They use the constitution to get into power and then they call for its suspension. Correct. Because this man is a dictator. I warned all of you not to go out to vote. The same thing that is happening in Imo State is now a microcosm of all these things afflicting the Zoological Republic is now affecting everybody, even at their so-called federal level. A human being who claims to be educated, he says he's a doctor. You know, I was a doctor. And it's a judge. You must suspend the constitution. The same constitution that the terrorist held in his hands, the pedophile, the same hands he used to abuse a nine-year-old girl. He was holding on to constitution to say, I agree to abide by all the provisions in this constitution. So help me Allah. Today, the same Awasa people are asking for full powers to be given to. No wonder he has not appointed any cabinet. No wonder he's the only one who can get up and decide, oh, you see all those amnesty people in, uh, in uh, so-called riverine areas. You give them 60,000 each. And people are jumping up and down. When he is not the finance minister. He is not the accountant general of the federation. He is the only one that can sell crude oil. He is the only person that can decide who gets money. And what I find astonishing is that people are stumbling from one idiocy to the other. Yeah, right. I am a Nigerian. But can't you see what Buhari is doing? Are you that stupid? Are you that blind? That you cannot see what this Dullard is doing? He is threatening. Not threatening, of course. They are recommending. Which is a way of telling you, if you like it or not, the constitution or its provisions will be suspended to allow this man to govern like an emperor. Do you know why they are saying this, our people? Because that is the only system of government they understand. Our Safulani people, they believe in feudalism, mm. where one man stays in absolute control of everybody else. Suspending democratic institutions, that is the meaning of feudalism. The other place you have it is Britain. It's just that the ordinary people through Oliver Cromwell had a revolution exactly. and killed King Charles I to enforce the rights of the commons. That is why the most powerful law-making chamber in the UK is called the House of Commons. Some of you don't understand that they mean common as common people, that they're nobody. That's, that, that's the meaning of it. House of Commons means, it's not a nickname, it's the common people, you are a common person. But the commoner said, we agree we are common, but we are the ones that is going to make the laws of the land. During the Commonwealth Revolution, under Oliver Cromwell. Ask anybody, they will tell you. They killed the then king of England, King Charles I. Do you understand? Now you do. They share the same system of government with our Safalani. That is why BBC loves our Safalani people. They are the same feudal people. Only few people can own cattle and land. Every other person naturally is in her number. Every other person is a cattle rider for them. The land belongs to the few. The cattle, which is their main stock asset, belongs to the few. That is how you know a typical Fulani man. There is no Fulani man, no matter how rich they are, they must have Nama. They must have cattle, a head of cattle. It doesn't matter. Even Dangote, if you're a billionaire, even Sanusi, Lamido, Sanusi, they must have Nama. Moving and grazing somewhere. That's how you know them. That is their nature. That is who they are. The, the APC is recommending that Buhari, that the constitution of the zoo should be suspended. In other words, you people should forget democracy. Exactly. Give him the powers of a dictator if you want it, because the dictator is a, a claims an army man. That's what he's claiming. <laughs> the only way. Well, I'm there. <laughs> well, I'm there. I know. I know our people will, they will not be happy that I post your voice, but I know it's just a preamble. That's the reason why I always try to remind some of us. The reason we must continue agitating for the for the restoration of Biafra. We must be what I call determined. Unga is so determined. Stand that is why it is good for you to know what you are fighting. So that when you convince yourself, you say, no, now here why they that because that's a reason. That's the reason why you can never move from that particular point. When you remember why did I join this struggle? 
Why am I even fighting for the restoration of Biafra when you remember it? It makes you an honorable man or woman, as the gender may be. Today, are you not feeling uh, proud to be an IPOB member? Are you not proud to be wearing this thing on the street? So that obedient people will see you, they will hide. Now, let me show you a replica of what our leader is preaching. Nobody speak up. Nobody speak up. Now, look at these people now. Look at them. This is why I told many of you that all these uh, dope people, all these, uh, all these uh, bloggers, they are there to make money. They don't know what, what is going on. They don't know. Look at now. They have started blaming them. Obi. After they must have made their money. With the man. They are, they are claiming as if they don't know. That the man is there to play a game. They are the blogger. Huh? They blogger got the Zimbu. They blogger got the Zimbu. They are going. I found this on battle. See, my people. Mr. Obi, that is the problem eh, of himself. Yes, now weak politician. Anyway, you don't need this get talk. After all our struggle, everything you are running career in vain. After all our fights, I beg you that they go that side in Labour Party like fools. But I'm not able to get it up. Where Kenneth now? You never quiet. Kenneth, there in the mouth, ba 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 ba. You never quiet. This is what they the you talk. When I'm gonna say the bad people on a build of one, the labor party of one. I'm confused. I'm not to fight, fight at all. I'm gonna drag violation back to. See, my people, eh, Mr. Obi, eh, that is the problem eh, of himself, Mr. Obi. And the, the, the highest problem where will the youth get? I'm not saying you go surprise when I say I talk like this. No one ask me why. You know why I said Mr. Obi, like the problem where we get? They know they use peace for Nigeria. Now, for all this, that they subscribe to. For Nigeria. Like, Mr. Obi will be, will be the governor of his state for eight years. He, he knows better. That's the problem, what would they face? The reason why I talk like that, when they win this election, eh, all Nigerian youth were ready to come out for protest. And that protest, eh, is for it for something good. But the Obi was like, no, nobody should come out and say, calm. I will oh, not begin a go cut. What I'm saying, it will not take time with the obedience. It will not take time. We'll go cut for eight years. It will not take time for this one. We'll pay so. What they have for airport recently? We don't know yet. When I know you was up for airport recently. Anytime when Peter will be commenting, the attention when they get from crowd, eh, if they give APC and the rest of them sleepless nights, before you know it now, eh, they go lock him up. If they let lock him up now, eh, over six I want to move on for, from uh, there. Anybody when they don't lock, as I said now, nah, they know say people really want them. Then they put it in that person. More than think of. Uh, my evil brothers and sisters, I want to think of Una and the Kanu. They can't release them because they don't think that I'm a comment. That's not a mean way for his people. They can't release them. Okay, now, yeah. That would be the good for our people. Yeah, man, yeah. It's a confession. Ha, <laughs> Onyoma. Onyoma, even the enemy are saying that you mean well for your people. And I'll be on Ukurun Jogge, but I'll come. They are mocking at us. So now you know that he mean good for his people. Uno Sunuko Uno double into business venture. Obi. Obi is a setup. I know many of you, maybe, maybe up to now, you never clear for an eye. Obi is a game. It's a game plan. To make many of you dumb and he succeeded. You want him to go and fight? He tell people to come down now that he is in the court. He, he, after all, he's okuti now. You know, the superstitious believers. That's why we say we destroy anything, call Christianity in our land. Do you know what they are now believing? Uh, just, just for example, I go on number now. He lost. They leave him at. He go to court and they claim the mandate back. He says you people should come down, come down. They don't know Nigeria. They thought Anambra is Nigeria. <laughs> they don't know what is a, what is the governor of Anambra has to do with Nigeria. He managed his own tiny place as a boy boy. These are the center. You are going to see what happened. All these our fathers. All these our fathers. Let me deserve my comment. about all of you. Especially those that don't want to tell us what happened. You people see them out. What you are going to watch now, which is the second phase of this exposition. I know it's not rampart on let me block you. Anytime I remember to do problem. That means you are not following me. If you be calling me, 
Anytime I do program, you know that was you don't follow me. Let me block you. Am I money? I talk on my money. I don't want to know you. Let me block you. This is almost the third time. Now, if you see what happened, eh? what you are going to watch now, eh? after this first stage, anybody you look like this, remember that anybody you see that is living in the north, especially Joss, eh? never pity for them. Or maybe you pity for them because maybe they didn't know. I pity for them. Let me let us not just be so hardened. Maybe they didn't know what happened to them. I think so. They didn't know. You are going to see it. And you're not going to begin to see. Let me, me and you will judge them. I don't want to be biased in my decision. You yourself will judge whether the missionaries did they play a very good role in the genocide that took place in our land. They are confessing now. They confess with their mouth, not me. Let me listen to them. They are not waking up. I repeat that side. I love this place. Now they can't. Now they can't again. Please, uh, now that will be the cause of our problem. So when I say talk, say I don't subscribe for peace, eh? Now violence, I subscribe for. When I say no, mo calm down. I saw many comments for like no, we not feel use fight. Say do everything. There are things you don't do with peace. There are a lot of things you don't do with peace. You fight for it because it is your right. You know very well. I'll be not very well. Say. This election, he won me. I did not be, not be what is there, what is there, what is there, he won it. When he don't go to civil protest, even if he wants want to go to court, that listen now. That's why many of you are mugu. You know, sometimes we try to bring you closer to us. This is a game plan. He will never allow many of you to go out there to protest. You have already destroyed your morale. I told so many people. The man is a is a is a lily liver coward. Peter is a coward. You have no mind. It, something has never happened to you before. That time is fresh in your mind. You are so zealous to do or do. But when they tell you, calm down, calm down. It is tempo now. Tempo will relax. Their tempo now is not like before. When I know that that, that man, that man, eh? that man, <laughs> very soon, I'm going to kill us in every country. I tell you. Even my, the, my, the people that are calling himself obedient will realize it later. They will be pursuing him. They rob you openly. Even dead people know, know it that they rob you. Blind feel it that you were robbed. If what you have done, you silly amount. You are not Nigeria. You are not Nigeria now. Are you fighting to become a president of yourself? Is it not for the people you call Nigerian youth? And the other Nigerians, you see the amount. It is left for the youth to move the streets. Your job is to see the amount. Don't talk. I swear. The way they are claiming they are serious, I don't want to begin to say they are not serious. I know you know they love excuse now. They will be happy that uh, the man told them to wait. They are using to give excuse. Your job will be people will be coming to you, Oga. Now, because of you, these people they rampage you, they destroy so many things in this land. They try to bring division in this country. Please go and talk to your boys. He said, I know no. You just do you, you just just do your hand like this. Don't talk. You just do your hand like this. It is your country. They are they are debating for what they saw on the street. You tell them, eh, everybody should calm down now, calm down now. That man, eh, you know, so we have to pay your ish. But we know what we did. So that many of you now, I will open. But at least I'm happy you recognize the name they come. That's, that's a good thing. I know. It's your right. You know very well. I'll be not very well. Say, this election, he won me. I subscribe for. When I say no, Mo, calm down. I saw many comments before. Like, no, we don't feel you fight. Say, do everything. There are things you don't do with peace. Mm. There are a lot of things you don't do with peace. You fight for it. Because it is your right. You know very well. I'll be not very well. Say, this election, he won me. I did not be, not be, what is there? What is there? He won it. When he don't go to civil protest, even if he wants, he wants to go to court, then please, let, let him leave the youth. Let him leave the streets. There were a lot of things. There were a lot of, a lot of organizations that were ready to protest. But he said, no, now we should calm down. Right now, I want to go. Cut today, cut tomorrow. They were using a play, 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 play at the end of it. And we'll still waste another eight years. I don't say first, I know you're like woman. 
because I remember vividly that when the, this, uh, the, the day when they read this election, the next day when Peter Albino I was angry. I came out and said, This silence is killing me when Peter Albino saying something. Because youth were ready. People. Come on, you people are not ready. Forget them, they are not ready. They are not ready. Forget these people, they are, they are cowards, even them. Peter Obey, is it in Nigeria that will tell you not to protest? That is why it's not an ideology. The thing that die, Yala. You have 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 all of Have have they reached? Have they have not gotten up to one year now? They they form this the opinion. They only one year. Have how long? Have they been? Oh, and we have been game. Have they been? Was that they are their leader? Is the reason? Very soon they will they will tell him is the reason why Nigeria is not progressing. Let us leave this people. Let's go. Let's go now. Mazen Nam the Kano is in DSS dungeon. People like you call yourself forbidden. You are not speaking. Nobody is speaking apart from the general people of the Afro IPOB. It's we that are bothered. Even when the immediate family are messing up, we stood our ground. We say we are not going to abandon you. We are speaking. That's the least we can do. You can't do otherwise. It's a very sad that Christianity made us to be coward. All of us. Which you are going to see. You have no any other choice than to continue speaking out. It means a lot to speak up. Normally, if it is where we are like human, we don't need to be talking. We go into action proper. Plan one. Oh, not, not, a, not a action of a buying AK-47 and begin to do WhatsApp call. No. Not fundraising on social media. Yeah, oh, Mark. They don't know what it entails to fight for freedom. You see this freedom of Biafra. You know, you know, on social media. Now, I know you I want to get to Biafra. Now, they are liars. Only IPOB cannot even get to Biafra. Are you aware? Oh, you're not aware. <laughs> okay. Are you shocked? Are you demoralized? Because I, I tell you the truth. Only IPOB alone cannot get it. That's why we need the support of other people. That's why we are evangelizing. I didn't mean, would have said, okay, it's okay, let us go march. We need our people to understand what we are doing. That is why we are so paired when we see infiltrators doubling into what we are doing to begin to use it to be sorted on our people. There are so many of our people that are not in IPO, but they support what we are doing. We need to carry them along. Without them, we go nowhere. No segregation, whether you are registered or no registered. Leave one year here, leave people to let them support the place they want to support. So many of you today that are. Championing this, supporting this struggle. Many of you are not registered. I'm not telling you that it's good not to register, but sometimes it's good to identify yourself, especially when you're in Western world. But in the case of no exceptional. Nobody speak up. This man came out. Continue speaking for the well-being of all of us. This thing that you're listening to now, is it not is it doesn't affect you? This thing he's crying, shouting. Some of you say, some of you, I, I, very wicked people. Don't worry. I will stop procrastinating this. I will make sure I repair this my phone. I have a lot of people that used to call me. I know their numbers. I know them. They were a IPOB. Mazze, can we leave this Biafra for now? Then the support will be, no, he's the one that will bring Mazze. Then Nano can they struggle. They, many of them are in UK. I, I, I remember. If you want to send me um, when I was asking for um, what do you call it, recharge card to share those at home, he sent me recharge card. Now, order quiet, you know, they call again. Order all up, well, no enter. If I repair that phone, I will come here and record them. They don't hide, they know they talk anymore. Foolish people. So that is why Mazum Namekano must come out. Um, it's sad, he all look very sad to be honest. It's sad that he had lingered so long. It shows that we have no body. This thing must not be kind of being held with other Biafrans languishing in jail. Do you know what it shows? It shows that we have no body. It shows we don't have elders. It shows that we don't have political elites. We show that our place are empty. It's only us. Just like when you have a problem, you look after you look for your father to come and rescue you. We have no father as it stands now. Now we the cater for ourselves. That's what it signifies. Cowards, if you see them in Igbo community, I went to, I went to, I went to one they did here last time. I said, let me go and just watch us, what they're doing. They celebrated whether it's that something. And somebody was using cola, bless a cola. In the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord, at the end. 
no in, no Igbo, just English. Somebody cannot speak pure Igbo. About the Igbo community, they went there and they speaking English. We have gone. We have gone. We are now. What we are doing now, we are trying to make sure we can revive the generation that is to come. Let for us, we are useless. We have. I tell you, the little goodness in us is what we are trying to struggle to see whether we can impact this knowledge on our day, the upcoming ones. Let for us, one nine la wasted. If you see them here, you got you got you got Igbo event before. You never see them before. Ani mumu ani. Ani mumu. Somebody that came for Igbo, Igbo, Igbo culture or something. A e, chairman. Somebody whether he have a position. He's wearing a cloth of Igbo netansi. <laughs> no, no Igbo cultural attire. <laughs> they are wearing Catholic something. I know that. Some of them used to watch me. They used to watch me. I'm surprised they are calling me. Ah, they shaking me. I used to see. I used to see you, and they will not call because they're afraid to call. They can't. Uh, they can't challenge. They can't engage us in a debate. What we're saying is not wrong. What we're saying is completely right. All of us are cowards. Ibo Now let's go. That is why in every every year they have three agenda. Easter party, Christmas party, and the EDG. That's all. Three. Many of you can confirm in your own country. Three. Three agenda. Christmas party, Easter party, and the New Year festival. That's all. That's, that is the agenda. Every year, he repeat it again. Hagar their heart was how they will sell beer. Shiny. Kenny, real. Bwa, bwa, lantani, and elu. Zuzu, lawayad. And, um, we have a lot of job to do. Let's go. I have a lot. I have a lot. I will limit it. I, I, have, a, I have a lot. In let me let me round up with this first topic. The topic, uh, the first topic, Siriman Masinamikan is illegally detained in detention, suffering for all of us. And uh, we must continue making sure uh we continue speaking. That's the least we can do and allow those that are working behind the scene to continue doing their job. It's not easy for them. It's not easy. You know that the, the Nigeria is a country that has no rule of law. So some of you will think that it's easy. According to the record, it's easy. The US should do something. The US must do something. They can't just stay there and imagine that they can't live in jail. It's very easy to speak. But it's hard to implement. The country is, is, is down. A, one man robbed the whole nation. One person, in the name of Jagaban, you rob everybody. Nobody talk. Everybody will keep their mouth short. Nobody do anything. So why are you now talking as if you are local? But well, it's very sad. I don't think we are Sunni Muslim. I don't think we will be treated in this way. That is why we need to have Biafra as our religion. Then we radicalize it to defend what we believe in. It will be a very serious ideology. We will take it so personal. Christianity have fell us. They fell us. Now let's go. Let's go to them. Let's go to them. Let's go to. Emperor Constantine, a killer. Some of you that are watching me tonight, you are going to see me. Only the happier there, happier there. Only the happier there. We are going to come back to you. Um, let's go to Constantinople. Uh, the man that um changed everything they are having today as their religion. Uh, we are going to go step by step. I have, I'm going to limit it. This is almost two hours. I know I can't play this in two hours. We are going to stay step by step. Because I have the one that happened in Biafra land, step by step. It's not, another Sunday is coming. Um, let's go. Let's go. This is um, how you become a Christian. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Jesus is our Lord. It's because of this now. All this Holy Trinity, one God, is because of this. This uh, crucifixion, raised in uh, third day, all because of here, all here at the Akron, all these things. Celebration of Christmas 25th, all here. Jesus Christ have risen all here. All these dates. A killer. A killer brought it up to many of you. Foolish people. I ain't got power at this struggle. I tell you. We never even start. That's a new play. Nah, make another use that now. I ain't got tune also very soon. Oh, 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 Time has gone when we used to speak in a very diplomatic way. Be civilized. Must be civilized. 
Because they never told you how this woman. They never told you what happened to her. They never told you that this thing happened in the, in the presence of the missionaries. I didn't say they should fight. Speak up. Tell the world what happened. They see their mouth for complete 50 something years. Now let's go. Let's go to let's go to this. At the beginning of the Christian movement, Jesus' followers were fed to wild animals for Roman entertainment. Then, as the story goes, the Roman Emperor Constantine had a vision of the cross, which inspired him to adopt Jesus as his savior. As a result, the West became Christian. But did Constantine really convert to Christianity? Or are modern Christians worshiping a version of Jesus created by a die-hard pagan? This is one of the secrets of Christianity being unearthed by investigative journalist Simka Yakovovich. From deserts to tombs, from Rome to the Holy Land, Simka tracks down the truth behind historical myths, long-held beliefs, and some of the greatest biblical stories ever told. Simka has come to Turkey, to the city of Istanbul. Back in now listen. Some of you that claim that you in the ask how history, you know you know come on you know come on those of our people that say they they, they study history, what are they in this hour? Which which history sir? No, no. Suppose they brought all the, they bring these things out to us, historians, archaeologists. Oh, we know again we behind these things because we need to know what we are pushing. Some of us didn't know. Some of us told the hey, oh yeah, be afraid, oh, yeah, be afraid. we want to be afraid now. In the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord, be afraid, will come. No, not supposed to bring these things. You see why I hold this documentary? This guy that you are seeing here now, he went to these places. He's not sitting in his bedroom and be goggling and be going to YouTube to do research. No, he visited those places. How can Vatican City, Papa books begin to interpret to him? He visited archaeologists. Traveling to Turkey, to Italy, to Israel, to Palestine. He went all also travel to Jordan, Egypt. White people, white people. Eh? Forget one day. We are we are we are overcarrying with money. Our own is money, but their own pride is dignity. They have what they have invented, what they will do for humanity. That is why we are not the same with them. Your own is money. Money. Now, how will I use this thing to make money now? How can I do this thing? I want payment. You know, everybody, you, how? And I want to be making money now. Uh, let me print it, uh, create one website to say, everybody, if you want to listen to me, you pay. Look, look at it. This is where the man went. I'm going to stop it in just 10 minutes. 10 minutes. We are going to continue because I know we are going to learn a lot. A lot. In the 4th century AD, Constantine built his new capital here and called it Constantinople. By that point, Constantine had already legalized Christianity. But it's still a matter of controversy whether Constantine himself became a true Christian. And underneath modern Istanbul, the city that Constantine built, until Constantine, some 300 years after the crucifixion, Christianity was essentially an illegal movement. After Constantine, within a few years, a few decades, it would become the official religion of the Roman Empire and the reason why so much of the world today is Christian. The question is, who was he? And the religion that he created, is it a religion that Jesus would recognize? In the 4th century AD, the Roman Empire was divided into four major areas. Each region had its own ruler. But when Constantine's father, who ruled the West, died in York, England in the year 306, his army declared Constantine ruler of the entire Roman Empire. This sparked a bloody struggle to determine who would end up emperor. In the year 312, Constantine was pitted against the general Maxentius, who controlled the central region, including the city of Rome. 
famous struggle for power was depicted 1,200 years later in these frescoes by Renaissance artist Raphael. Based on early Christian sources, Raphael painted these narratives on the Vatican walls. And it's these frescoes that tell us the traditional story of how Constantine converted to Christianity. But there's a much older work of art that tells a different tale. It's called the Arch of Constantine. And Constantine himself had it built here, in the center of Rome, to celebrate his victory over Maxentius. Over six stories high, Constantine's arch was erected just 91 meters from the Colosseum, where Christians were once killed for sport. For fear of damage, the Department of Antiquities in Rome hasn't given anyone permission to examine it up close for more than 30 years. Until now. The closest you can get to Constantine is the arch behind me across from the Colosseum. It's Constantine's victory arch, and on it he sculpted his narrative. The problem is you can't get close to it. In 30 years, no one has. But now, we're going to go up and take a look. Ringing it. Now. <laughs> now. Now, listen. When you hear this, you put at the sun what we have. They have their own, but they say you cannot go closer to it. Since 30 something years, you can't move there. If you want to watch it, and they claim, you watch it from distance. You know, a church, you know, they destroy what you have. Destroy our way of life. These people are making money. This man are paying heavily to go to these places. The question would have been, why do they allow him to go closer? Hi. These people, these people really, really destroyed us. But I know sometimes, I've got one year in and I know what they used to frustrate us, hunger. Even him, Kononi, many of you will not understand it. Because, bro, I grown. <laughs> I grown on all of I know. <laughs> I grown, but they say, hunger is the root of all evil. <laughs> I grown on. You know, I grown on Constantinople and how he converted everybody to become Christian. He <laughs> gave any first. I understand, I understand. I understand. I understand. But it is okay. It's okay. I just want to all my can do extremists. Extremists, all know I can play with good distance. Now watch. They say they can't go closer to that place. For over 30 something years. No near there. Nobody should near there. I don't know what they're hiding. To decode the arch, Simka is joined by Constantine expert Elizabeth Marlowe who has seen the carvings on Constantine's arch only from ground level or in photographs. Until now, she has never seen them up close. Oh my God, look at that. That is so fantastic. Look how big they are. From this elevated perspective, Simca can now see how Constantine wanted his victory over Maxentius depicted in stone for all time. This is amazing. I'm excited. It's like spectacular to be up here. Everyone should see Constantine's arch this way. Constantine's arch depicts the battle between Constantine and Maxentius for strategic control of the Milvian Bridge, just north of Rome. According to the tradition depicted in Raphael's paintings, Constantine's forces were greatly outnumbered. But then, Constantine is said to have had a vision of the cross, followed by a dream of This is how you people are using this cross now. How we dream. A vision. A killer. An emperor. How we how had it been these stories being said by Africa now? One of us is a lie. Every, do you know what is penning me? Everything is in the on well, why why are you saying why are you penning? Do you know it before? You know because because you started uh, detecting for this region of Africa. So why you want to blame others for not knowing it? Yeah, but uh, I'm in this time in history. Some of them say they, they study well theology, man, they made theology. Oh, Bible, he made theology, that kind of from Genesis to Exodus. I, I call, I call whatever. Mm. If they are, if they are part again, I try, I try to be sure. Mumu, mumu people. I want a vision, the man saw it in the cross. You know, Pagari, I pass it on my own to Chinaka Bunok. And go could not say our ancestors should, should go to hell. I ain't got powers at you no while. I tell you. Time, time is coming. Time is coming. We will continue. 
Who want to go on your on your on your idiot to stop this gospel with the grace? Who know about Chinese guy? Now, come check out US. Yeah, say what matters. I say oh, for what? No, no, no. How man? He they know that I'm doing a very nice job. <laughs> they know. You know about Chinese guy like this? I can volunteer for me that work. Now, I can be volunteering because I I want to use people to create awareness. Um, let us let us leave it here. Let us leave it here. Let me go back a little bit. I will not stop it again. Just that everything needed explanation. I I supposed to be explaining. I watched Alam this more than ten times since I since I discovered it. Dream of Jesus that changed his life and ours forever. In that moment, Constantine was said to have denounced the Roman paganism that he was brought up with in favor of a newfound belief in Christianity. He ordered his soldiers to paint their shields and banners with the symbol of the cross and led his army to victory. He then went on to convert the entire Roman world to the Christian faith. That's what the Christian tradition tells us. But what does Constantine's arch have to say? In this panel, Constantine's face was deliberately hacked out by a long forgotten opponent to his legacy. Here, we can still clearly see the defeated Maxentius drowning in the river Tiber. But is there any evidence that Constantine really had a vision of the cross that converted him to Christianity? Who's that guy behind him? That's one of his own men carrying a standard. That's a military standard. No cross there. No cross there. You can't see that from down below. No. I see a shield very clearly. Yes. No cross there. No. No. When we look at the evidence from Constantine's reign itself, the Arch of Constantine really being the best source we have in the years immediately following that battle, there's no trace of Christianity on this monument. No images of Jesus, no crosses, no Christian symbolism anywhere on his arch. Considering his vision, you would think Constantine would be championing Christianity. Is it possible that there was no vision at all? In Constantine's day, emperors had to win over the Roman army. Was the vision invented to win over Christian soldiers? But wait a minute, the Roman army persecuted Christians. It crucified Jesus. There wouldn't have been Christians in the Roman army. Maybe there were. To investigate the possibility of Christians in Constantine's army, Simca travels to northern England, once the outer reaches of the Roman Empire. It's here where Constantine's rise to power began. The area is littered with Roman military forts, like this one, located at Hadrian's Wall on the Scottish border. And it's here that Andrew Burley has found evidence of Christians in the Roman army. Now, what do you think of it? Well, this is not a random thing. This is a very purposeful thing. Now, corresponding with the cross inside the, the room in this building here, on the section of the wall next door, there are seven crosses like this one inserted into the wall, all in one section of wall. To have seven so close together is very unusual. Third century Christian symbols carved into stone by the same Roman army that crucified Jesus. Evidence that Christians were fighting in Constantine's army even before Constantine came to power. Winning them over would have been of paramount importance. But were Christian soldiers also serving in his rival Maxentius's army? There would be much more likely to be Christians in, in Maxentius' army than in Constantine. And Constantine's army was largely composed of people from, from the far barbarian north where Christianity had made very much less impact. So it seems Christians were well entrenched in the Roman military before either Constantine or Maxentius fought their famous battle for the Milvian Bridge. But if Maxentius also led Christians into his army, then what's so unique about Constantine's claim to be a Christian sympathizer? To learn more, Simca needs to find out what Maxentius really stood for. The only personal relics from Maxentius's reign were recently unearthed here, just meters from Constantine's arch, by archaeologist Clementina Panella. Panella believes that these royal scepters, spears, and weapons belong to Maxentius himself. 
and were venerated by his faithful followers, just as Christians venerate the cross. Ritrovato il corpo di Massenzio, Costantino taglia la testa di Massenzio e la porta in città. E Costantino ovviamente... <laughs> Don't talk like that. Don't talk that thing. Now you are bringing division. They are speaking about what happened, trying to investigate. Yeah, will not somebody about now. No, they insult my Jesus like that. Just imagine that all these things were destroyed now. The way people are destroying what we have. How will you make these traces? How will you begin to use this thing to at least to go and learn what happened to our forefathers? How did they live? What they built? Can you not begin to see the reason why we're supposed to be wiping you, many of you away in our land? Who have devoted their time in the name of churches to be destroying what we have in the, in the name of deity? Can you not begin to see them they, they trace this thing to the ancient times? These things are there. People are visiting it. Even if it's bad, go there and study to learn what has happened before. Leave it there now. Tell people our forefathers used to worship pagan. Use it to teach them. We are winning now. We are that is to show that we are children of God. Anya bela, anya bela. This struggle on him here. on him here. Some of you don't know what we are into. Complete liberation. Time on him That's why sometimes it's good for us to know what we are pursuing. All these things you are watching now. I don't have much time. I want to take you to your own land. I will devote the time to make sure that I caught the special parts. Even the places they visited and them, they, all these visitations, they came in conclusion to begin to marshal out the outline of Constantinople. The reason why he incorporated Christianity in his struggle in order to win the, the battle. He converted to a Christian. Somebody as a pagan, he converted immediately and used the Christians and fight the war. After he won the war, he now begin to marshal out how to live because he's in charge. He now begin to reverence Jesus Christ as God. He now begin to talk about Holy Trinity in one God. He now begin to marshal out dates that some of you are going to be using to remember Jesus Christ. The cross, now you have seen how it came, vision. Christian does not use cross before. It's him. All this uh, crucifixion, all this one, is him. I watch this in many times. I don't watch any other thing. I've been watching this and I watch, I pause, I go back, I watch, I say, what, what has happened? They're visiting it. Uh, Jesus has worked for me. Uh, in the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow. I don't know how they become their own. They didn't fight. They just conquered them. One idiotic sister in France. That's some very soon got you now. Very soon. He's writing me. I don't I don't want to go back to our forefathers who used to eat human being. This these people, many of you are following. Are they not killing people? No problem. On a we were on a we were no matter how I try to hold myself, it pens. It pens a lot. It pens a lot. It pens a lot. I never lie you. Let's go to let's go to the Afra land. And let us also see what they did to us, the missionaries. Let us see their contribution to us what happened to us. As you are watching this thing, you will be now tell yourself the truth. You know you will now know we are we are gullible. As you are watching this now, you will tell yourself the truth. We are daft. Ah, our fathers, especially those who ran away from Joss in 1966, and still allow their family to go back there. Maybe you know, maybe maybe brother, don't you think so? You may be true that there's some species God will create and for them to become a sacrificial lamb. And we are here struggling. You know they think like that. Say some people need to be a prey. No, animal have food to eat, just like lion. Lion have lower lower ones to use to feed himself because without those lower ones, they cannot grow. It's like in, in other things, may, maybe say we are the we are a prey to use to you know sacrifice when the time comes. Not a thing like that. Because I can't, I can't just fathom it. A place where they hunted you down. Slaughtered you. Just a couple of... 1966. 
If you not off up to 50 years, you people have gone back there again and start developing the same place that we are hurt to death. Does it mean that you don't know what happened to you? Or maybe it's mixed blood. As these people are hacking, they are raping our women and they are now producing these things. So they need to trace back to where their blood is. It may be we are here trying. Our people in Jaws come back. Our people in the North come back. This is where their father come from. Just think about it. Because no reasonable human being will be slaughtered in such a manner you are going to watch now. You still go back there again and go and develop. Something is wrong. It's either their fathers are from there. So make him leave them. We are calling because they are answering our name. We say they are part of us. I know in trouble. Eh? I, and I, I work with mixed blood in also. I think I'm a grandma. I'm a see they will be mixed blood. I work with you mixed blood. I tell you. They will be mixed blood. A lot. A lot to do now. A lot to do now. Our land. But you know, you know. Because our, the blood, our own blood is very thicker. You know, you know. You, Oh, you, you never see your uh, evil brother. You, 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 this is my car. You never see him before. They were Mark here. Yeah. You never see him. You never see them before. <laughs> I'm not a trouble. I'm not a trouble. You cannot differentiate who is your less they treat their behavior. But the easiest way to decode them is those that don't believe in freedom of behavior. Now let's go. Let me show you. I know a lot of people want to hear from me. Um let me bring um let me bring it this one is in just 1966 just how many years how many days ago missionaries are banked and foolish people um this will last 10 minutes 10 minutes but uh, 10 minutes after this i'll open my line just to hear from many of you i don't want to ramble in my my but you need to allow them to speak now um to the corner of my eye a single man coming up from the road and it seemed very obvious to me that he was running away from something and i was an evil man is running away running to the class where the woman is teaching turned my door was right in line with the direction he was going mm -hmm. i really did not want that man coming in there at all he doesn't want the evil man as a missionary in the church to come inside where hi our people are very foolish. Look at the segregation start. Look at the class. Do you see any black man here? This is this is in Joss. This is in Joss. We they have the different classes for white people. I have the one for black. They go here. In Joss. So when the evil, evil idiot is running to for he, to save his life. The, the teacher said that no, you cannot run inside the house because of um, the human being are here learning so that the Fulani and the house will not come inside and they then uh, amend their effect. But he did come in and I went to meet him immediately. I didn't want those seventh graders to be disturbed mm. or alarmed in any way about what was going on. Mm. I mm. Wagner exits the classroom with the Igbo man. But he leaves Wagner to join a nearby group he perceives as friendly. Meanwhile, Principal Weaver knows that Hillcrest employs several. E mark, mark this name. This is the the head. Uh, this is Mr. Paul Weaver. He had the missionary so. You will hear what this what this man did. Let's continue. Ebos, among them, Hyacinth Adabemba. When I went into the office, Hyacinth was not there. And I was really concerned. I asked about him, and I was told, I was assured that they believed that he was okay. I know I asked a number of questions, and I got sort of a vague response. He was hidden, supposedly, in the rafters in our sanctuary. See him? They are running. They went and hid under the ceiling. Ndoji. The missionary cannot even protect them. They are running for their life. In our soil. In African soil. In the church. I was led to believe that it was Paul Weaver, but I'm not 100% sure. Back at TCNN, classes never began. A walk to the classroom building is punctuated by a shout. Look, there come the Igbos. Moore and others turn to see Igbos emerging from among eucalyptus trees, running in their direction. Some Igbos head directly to the campus. 
Others scatter into the boulders behind the college. Ward Lindauer, a Norwegian missionary nurse on the compound, begins treating the wounded. Moore leaves campus in the charge of Robert Martison, the new Lutheran academic dean, and speeds in his car to the Joss police compound to request protection. In Joss, Ebos are being hacked to death and their property looted. They did not have guns. But they did, at all. had matches, sticks, and stones. That's the way they were killed. Well, they were just hacked to with machetes or any way they could kill somebody. We were hacked, hacked with machete. Anywhere they can kill. And that's how we are slaughtered. You get rid of them, cut so, up. We could see people walking by our home carrying supplies that they had looted from the homes. Somebody would be carrying a bag of goods over their shoulder. They might even be carrying the easy chair. There was wholesale slaughtering going on. The you know, episode is one of several in the North targeting Igbos for abuse, mutilation, or killing. Igbo homes and businesses are looted yeah, while some Igbos try to evacuate via train. A June 2nd memo from Church of the Brethren missionary Roger Ingold reveals the magnitude of the problem. It appears that the press has been playing down the extent and severity of the demonstrations, rioting, and damage done. The report is that many hotels and buildings owned by Igbos have been destroyed. Do you hear it? Many hotels, established owned by Igbos, were destroyed. But they go back there again. I'm built an hour. Are you sure they are they are part of us? Can you not begin to see the reason why you need to you don't don't mess it for anybody? Or maybe they didn't know about these things. Maybe they didn't know. Maybe they didn't know. I can't just say. Their property looted. They hacked to death. They buried them alive. We are going to hear from them. They bury many of them alive. Hey, they have started killing no 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 time. You know, you know that's the time we'll be killing. You can't we use a matter. Because they don't have the mental resilience to, to reciprocate. Because they were living with the missionaries. That's what they're after. You see the one that wanted to die, he said, read Psalm 23. They read Psalm 23 until he died. The, the Christianity, yeah. Kamukron right. again defend it again. Let me see who will defend it. Kamukron will open. Kana Sonia Bokola. And I'm say one of one of the media team is I will be dragging you out. If you say you are you have all it takes, you put on a made debate on it. Biafras will watch. I don't question about you this trouble, I tell you. We were hacked to death. And it seems that there has been considerably more loss of life than has been reported. Engold ends the memo. I note a few examples of some additional strain and tension on some of the missionaries working here. Aye, okay. Friday, October 7th. And Joss, Shirley Bowers, secretary for Roger Ingold, is summoned to a private meeting. Ingold and more than a dozen other missionaries and Nigerian pastors are holding an ad hoc meeting about the crisis. And my wife Shirley was the secretary. She was the one who knew how to take down the notes in shorthand. Missionary Edgar Smith speaks. The chairman thinks that the best way for us to proceed would be for some of us to say what has happened. We should then say what we think caused these things and what we can do about keeping it from happening again in the future. Each person just tell briefly what he knows that has happened. Shirley Bowers fills more than a hundred pages with shorthand of their conversation. Story after story, question after question. Some people were buried alive. Well, yeah. right? Some people were buried alive. Um, no. Peter, I hope this one, I'm, oh, 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 Peter, you know these things. Maybe Peter, you maybe got half cast too. Maybe half full and half um, the other. Because Peter B, I tell you, say, he should have been an old enough to understand what went through during the genocide. Some were buried alive. 
Hadi bin is a mass nam the can you say this in that they saw Ghana lie and propaganda. White people, the missionaries that were on ground. At least let me not condemn them totally. They are white people. At least to speak up after 50 something years, you are going to hear what the head of missionary told them. Don't speak, don't say anything that happened. The head of the missionary, hey Delia, maybe they are now entering their grave. They're now saying that we must speak. I think it's last two years or last year they, they brought this video. It's not even in YouTube. It's not even in, a, in Facebook. I, I don't know what I was wangling in one website like that. I jam up. I find a way to download it. No way. I have to copy it. I begin to bring it one after the other. You can't see this sense. Anywhere you see this sense, you can't see it on Facebook. I try to upload it on Facebook. The full version. No way. That's why I'm cutting it small, small. The head, the head of the missionary said, close your mouth. And they never speak about it. Until after 50 years. They are now old now. Many of them are tended towards their grave. They say, nice, is 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 high enough we speak up. People were buried alive. One Nigeria. All of us, we must, we are one, one people. God brought us together. We must live together, one Nigeria. Station. Story after story, question after question. Some people were buried alive. They have been tied very firmly. Oh yeah, uh, it's a how as a man as he got to walk on the Zeus region. I have one more autopilot. Uh, no, my dear, now nah, if you feel no one, you know, you know, you know, you comment again. You think we come here to joke? Comment again, Fool, foolish idiot. They have, they have, um. Hey, you know the prime minister. Now, when you know the prime minister, prime minister of Biafra, and you are now, pop, pop, pop side. We, we, are, we, 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 we know where we are here now. I, I balance it very well. I push you there, push you up, pop on her side. How does the Biafra in Nezai? I want to help you. I didn't even drag as anything. Now, as the Biafra in Nezai, prime minister of Biafra in Nezai. If they have a nonsense. Now, pay attention. Let's go. With ropes and then buried alive. On Friday morning in our own yard, a man was beaten to death. Not only did they kill men very firmly with ropes and then buried alive. Which rope? On Friday morning in our own yard, a man was beaten to death. Not only did they kill many people, but they also destroyed their houses and took away their property. Some of our missionary personnel were at the airport meeting those coming from North America when this happened. Many of the people were killed right at their feet. The group's favorite word for what it has experienced, disturbances. Not once did they mention genocide or even pogrom. Participants at the meeting and just discuss another feature of what they witnessed, timing. The timing was exactly as this man told me. It happened exactly at three o'clock. The killings were going on in Joss. They were going on in Kaduna, they were going on in the Benue provinces, in the Thief country, and uh, 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 uh. the killing were going on in Benue, in TV country. That is where when Mazen and Makano talk about TV, sometimes he says, slaughter them. I know it's out of annoyance. When they book around, we are slaughtering them. They say, what? If you, if you watch now, they are bearing the consequences. Among the killing, ever had any, any we are in thousands. You hear what he said now? The killing of the Igbos is going on in TV land. Apparently, a plan simultaneously. Now, plan I am. This is how it's supposed to start. The killing immediately. So they were questioning. This can be a coincidence. It was a very calculated plan. In the Benue provinces, in the things were going on in Jos. They were going on in Kaduna, mm -hmm. they were going on in the Benue provinces, mm -hmm. in the Thief country, and uh, 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 Sokoto and Medugri almost at the same time. That could not possibly be spontaneous. At all. Somebody planned it. Very real way that you're aliens in a foreign land, and you respect your status as a foreigner. This is not your country, even though you're are horrified by what's happening. We knew that there were people who were close up to the situation in the political sense, and if we said too much about 
what we had done and questions would be raised about who did what, why, when, and so forth. So we thought it was just prudent not to say anything about it. Caution prompted most missionaries to censor even their own letters back to the States or to loved ones elsewhere in Nigeria. It also likely played a role in how the emotional response unfolded at Hillcrest School. I remember uh, getting in tr a little difficulty with uh, Paul Weaver. Um, I was called into his office and questioned about uh, an assignment. That We're going to now. Listen, listen, listen. Very, 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 very important here. Huh? Very important. Listen, this idiot is the head of the missionary. Look at what he did to this teacher as of then. The woman wanted to write an essay to tell the student, write the essay on what happened. He shot, he shot the woman up into his office and questioned about uh, an assignment that I had given to the students because I had asked them to write an essay about what had happened in Joss and how they felt about it. But I was told by him that I was not to do that. Go ahead. I was not to continue, that it was not a good thing to do. Go I guess I wasn't very happy about it. <laughs> you know, um, I thought, you know, it's it's not a bad thing for kids to write stuff down. It's for them to share it. They might share it on paper where they wouldn't share it orally. It was very hard to talk about. I don't remember a single word about it. I think that was just the way it was in the day. Nowadays, if there's a crisis in a school, you know, within hours, there are um, counselors and uh, law enforcement personnel and all kinds of support for the kids, as there should be. But we were not in that kind of situation there. I asked a friend, why haven't we talked about it? Why has this not really been dealt with? And I, I mean, beyond the surface. He said, I think that we as high schoolers anyway felt that if we don't talk about it, it would go away. Correct. If you don't talk about it, you will go away freely. Do you see it? Yeah, on the walker. The, way, the woman was asking, why wouldn't you allow us to talk about this? If you don't talk about it, it means you will have to go free. He intimidated them. If you talk about it, you may enter into a problem. So don't speak about it. So that you can now finish your assignment as a missionary and then go free. This is a remembrance. They are just remembering what happened those days. Missionaries. Missionary brought education in our land. The missionary brought health care. They develop our land. Idiots. That doesn't know that we have a way of educating ourselves before these people came. But I want to thank many of you, Ndocha. I want no matter what happened, I want to thank you. At least you you let us spoke up. If not, if it's black people, they will speak it in their grave. They won't speak. So many of them die with their wickedness. They, they say in an office, you know, we have to speak. They gather themselves together, those that are still alive. They say, now let us speak. What happened? What they couldn't allow them to speak since, 19, since 1966. They are now revealing it in 2022. Don't speak. I think we just didn't process it back at the time. I was transcribing my diary when it made me emotional. I couldn't stop the tears felt drained at the end <laughs> but it was a good experience do you know what i mean it wasn't a negative it was positive to i guess to process it you know and, and i i didn't i didn't talk about it i didn't talk about it the adults if i put myself into their position where i'm responsible for all these young people these little kids and these teens what's the best thing i can do to protect them prevent them from seeing more than what they've already seen and that's to normalize everything in their everyday life as much as possible which means not getting into deep discussions about what's going on but continuing with school and school events keep it as normal as possible in those days we felt strongly that we should keep this information away from students i see it now when i look at it as a lost opportunity. It's okay. It's I, okay. It's okay. It would have been well 
if I had taken a different position, but I understand well why I did what I did. That Sunday morning, an eagle recited the 91st Psalm. Ah, you will not fear. Look here. Look at one of the workers. How about my brother? The terror of the night. Of the night. Look here. No, the arrow that flies by day. Mm -hmm. No, the pestilence that stalks in darkness. Mm. No, the destruction that wastes at noonday. Exactly. A thousand may fall at your side. Mm -hmm. Ten thousand at your right hand. Mm -hmm. But it will not come near you. Mm -hmm. He said it with such depth of meaning. It said to me, these people are well aware they are facing a great trouble. It's okay. It's okay. I have it here. Let us leave it here. Uh, another day will continue. I have a lot. I have a lot here. It's almost two hours. I have a lot here on what transpired on how they were, how they were massacring our people, the place they were burying them alive. Now we have people who, like our brother say here. We have fathers who never. I don't. Does it mean our father didn't know what happened? If you have a father and he's still living now, he's not. He didn't tell anything about this. I'm not questioning the same I'm not going to lie you. Oh, 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 some of some of some of our fathers are sabotua. Forget about we are doing IPO view. <laughs> Let us tell ourselves the truth. That's why we should be very very grateful for us and the car to made us to stand on the truth, brother. I ain't your own job. Most of our fathers they are honored to serve white people. Remember that those days their father would tell you, ah, I was serving tea in Shanahan, and now we they serve white people tea. They bath them. I I I work with white people. You be playing with daddy. Why he didn't go back with them that time? At least by now we will have been in Europe. <laughs> Inferiority complex. Inferiority complex. <laughs> Inferiority complex, brothers. Ah, uh, no go lie you. Look here, layer here now. Layer now, layer. Let me show you what we are passing through. I don't answer, but I don't know. Look here. Layer here. Look here. Look here. Look here. Look here. Children. Uh, after he be chakra, how we how go on to like okay, he's just like what? I think it's a bang. Okay. I need power. I need power. I want to destroy me. Yes. Yes. Holy Ghost. 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 <laughs> it's okay, she and <laughs> she and all their parents, all their gullible parents. It's not their fault, but if they grow up now, they continue from where their parents stopped. <laughs> Actually, you got all out. <laughs> I thought that is not funny. <laughs> Look here, tomorrow I ask Jesus is Lord. Mm, if he tell you what Jesus has done for me. Jesus do miracle in my life. I want him save you here. Let me see what I'll see that. But sometimes I don't have them my trouble. Trouble the good though, brother. When you wanna hear the quiet. Now, sorry, I made a mistake. Let me leave this issue. And um, in the next, I think, let me what is time? Uh, because my teacher, you know you are going to work tomorrow, you are going to open your line in a jiffy. Wait, let us go to Reverend Father. Now stop your friends from evangelizing. And another another one happened today in UK or yesterday rather. Those of you that went to evangelism in UK, I think that there was one woman. I saw it, one woman stopping people from sharing Biafra flies. Something like a cactus on, on their knock on our door. A Catholic woman. She's she's preventing Biafra from sharing flyers. Even the flyers the Biafra are giving the, the church, the members that are going in, the woman was sacking them. That if you have it, you don't need to enter inside the church. If you have a Biafran I am fly. How can talk? Then let us go to the Reverend Father. Now stop our people from entering into the church. I mean into the seminar where they are presenting issue of Biafra. Um let me see. I think I save it here. I save it. I remember a lot here. I think uh, somebody is asking me. I can't do otherwise, my brother. I have to broadcast in this way. Um, uh huh. 
Here it comes. <laughs> now, what you are going to watch now is a reverend fire. Imagine the man. Many of you may know him. No, you could not marry the man. Here are the friends. You know, this genocide, this exhibition, this noise, we have been, this awareness, I need to create. Remember, the people need to believe. Here are the characters, they can not stay here. They try to remember what happened. When you have a reverend father, when you have a reverend father, they quit. Our reverend father. Here are our people. I'm literally got the event. Up for another door. Now, I don't know who invited them. What I say, the white people invited them. Ndocha. Lucky you be said it now. Not every black man is your brother. And not every white man is your enemy. Can you name me here then? Okay, Okay. So you can do it. Okay. 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 Yeah, this is a Biafra exhibition. Okay, Biafran exhibition. On daughter Kunuma here, they want to teach about what happened. Then watch the drama now. Watch the drama. A genocide exhibition uh, in uh, this report by Caritas, uh, and called by Jacob Prenkler, the main man who came to Biafra to rescue Biafra. So we bring, we bring in people for how the thing is going. And uh, we will uh, continue to bring to you what is happening here. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, no, oh, oh, you will excuse that the man that is doing that is not happy. No, no, child is happy. No matter what, no, I cover him. What, what do you people? At least in the village, no, no. Why are you people here? The Reverend Father Shina so cover the camera. Now the the organizer are not happy. Now what they are doing? What are they doing? I cover the camera. It is about that. Now again, it is about that. Oh, Jackie, I cover the camera. Why the voice went off? Wait. Ah, uh, wait. Why the voice just went off? Nobody 
My brother, I'm a Biafra, and then it's not a media with me. It's about Biafra. And why are you against Biafra? Why are you against Biafra? You are you are you are denying my right. It's okay. What is this? <laughs> we are getting now. <laughs> get to, get to. <laughs> I feel we are trying to be resilient. Resoluteness is our watchword. I love what our people did. They continue videoing, and nothing happened. Nothing happened. I be like, I'm I na told you now. Give me any other example camera, but they continue. Yeah, yeah, this is the guy. She the other side. Also propaganda. We will video it now. Use it for propaganda. On your coach. Has came on the video, Hanna Jimmy. A mamma Haji, a mamma can hatch and dog. Metal, don't leave it, don't show it, don't show it. The video is a man. I got come over. And the number one of them, my mamma, my boy, and a fool. We went to Reverend Dorchaman and invite. Half of the thing is. Not only better than anyone. So the problem we have is inside. Innocent Fulani. And then this man only call half blood. Half half. A reverend father. Only cabin, you have not an eye and all like this. A hundred branches is a give of you the cow walk. You and you jump on you. Gives you the gun or children or I say here. A hundred branches. Jap, pepper, pepper. Don't worry. I don't want to continue with it. It's long. But I think our people continue with the video, which is very, very nice. Lord Child, may God bless all of you. White people, forget about what we are saying. After all, you have to do the what you could. It's left in our hands to carry our stories. So we don't expect many of you to carry our story. After all, we, are, we can't blame you. We have our people that know what happened. Today, are they telling us what happened? The answer is no. Rather than jump in one Nigeria, people like Ojos or Carlo them. Let us just unite. One Nigeria, we will, together we can make it. They don't want to tell you what happened. But it will be the same. All of them, they knew what happened. Our sister, Madam Heather. Um, how the come going to incorporate? I think I will incorporate you. That was your man on and on. I can continue with it. Um, I love as um, you adhere to the instruction given to uh, you and the Mazi Jonathan. from preaching the gospel. I will especially be inviting you in my platform from next Sunday so that you prepare your own take. We can prepare together. That teaching is going to I need it. I need it. And one day as you continue. My love as you obey is an instruction. And I will command and control. All they do be after. Mm, has a new that side. Uh, may obey. But I'm on this platform. But this is one name I say. Ilani Oyiri Biafra platform. The answer is no. Oyiri Media World platform. The answer is no. I'm a Biafra. So, I'm going to invite next Sunday. I will talk to you later about it. Next Sunday, you prepare something. Our people are yearning to hear your voice. So that let the enemies that you have already defeated who try to shut you up. Because of the knowledge you have, they want to shut it up. Because of the exposure you are bringing into this struggle, we need everybody. So they can't shut you up and then do nothing about it. They are doing nothing. They are like a foolish people that 
don't want people to progress. Them they say are down because they are down. They don't want others who are rising to continue rising. So we are going to continue this year journey by next Sunday. My line is open. I think I have twenty or I'll have thirty minutes to pick up. So we're not going with anything. Amen. Amen. Jale jale. Um, issues at hand. Many of you who followed me can weigh into any matter. Uh, anyone adjo, adjo, adjo. And we call it a night. Uh, let me go to you. This is a plus three fourth. I think it's spent. Yes, can you hear me? Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Yes, you're welcome, brother. You're welcome. You're welcome. This evening, I'm touching one or two places. Right. I'm a platform. I'm a, I want to start with our leader. When the man's in the camera, I want to go. I see that all the whole people partake in a decaying of their friends. They must go the same way. For sure. So, in one stage, I partake their own, all their own direction. I can never. The same thing with the, with the north himself, the whole core north and and the local Yoruba west, the way of Mao, you know, not to be of Mao. I know. They will protect very well. I know. So let me leave that one. Let me let me get uh, the same old prayer. Let me bring it to the Imanasi. You go and serve this one and come back in Shabu. Mm. Like like the whole obedience, if it's okay, complain on that. Obi will later become a shameful man because of Choroko just have one Nigeria. Mm -hmm. They would turn, they would turn against him. They mm -hmm. would ridicule him. They, they would, in fact, they would spit on him because all these people will be so the same. What do you do? Do you do? Many of them, many of them carry pull out for that election immediately. Tinubu Pikri, uh, uh, Muslim, Muslim, Mabu Logi, and one at the picture. But because of Obi, I believe that Baki will be that Obi will fight to the end. Exactly. Being Three days. He may travel now, check in. 
na hotel in the evening Friday. And the management are there in the Sunday morning, Siggy, Nika, a check out. Now I got about that hotel because my three days I got there. I know. It's a common sense, it's a common mathematics. So there I want to rest my case. Thank I'm you, brother. Like all Thank you, brother. Thank you, brother. <laughs> Bless you, brother. Um, let me go to our brother from um, our brother from I think um, from um, this is Africa. I have a brother from Africa. I think uh, two two. Let me go to you first. Yes, can you hear me? Yes, flow. Good evening, sir. Good evening, sir. Yes, you're welcome. Well, I'm so happy that for this your program. I just want to use this opportunity to, to I don't really have much to say, but I want to thank you for saying that uh, from next week you'll be calling in uh, Mommy Meriantine Heather yeah. to join in the program. Uh, yeah, I've been longing. I don't know how to tell you, but when you say this, like, I just say that the spirit is one. And if it is possible, I am not um, compelling, but I'm, I'm just uh, appealing. If it is possible, once in a while, can open our brother, um, Martin Jonathan. Mm -hmm. Not that you need it, but he has one or two things. Because this thing, this, you know, like there's something I, I always say that, you know, religion is not, religion is not talking about heaven, spirituality, or religion is simply a weapon for defense or for conquest. For defense or for conquest. In, in conquest, in the sense that they impose religion on you so that they can divide you against yourself and unite you for their own benefit. You understand? That was why Jonathan was talking about. Because Jonathan is a guy that is there's a, a, a spirit of mercy in the color that is Jonathan. And that spirit is what makes him um, as Jonathan to be talking about Igbos or the Biafran people having their own indigenous orthodox Christianity that we are, a, we are all the scholars and men and people who come out to build our own because that would be a tool we we'll use because like this Muslim, you know that Islam is, is a, it's also a, something they use to defend the Arab world sure. you know, Christianity cannot really infuse in flakes into, into Islam because then Islam will be telling Christians that you people call it, are worshipping idols they will even be telling Christians to convert to Islam so that they will be worshipping the true God you see, so that religion on its own, the, the Islam religion, is not a defense against the influx of a foreign religion. You see the wisdom of Prophet Muhammad. So that is what uh, Mazi Jonathan was trying to raise our spirit and our consciousness to the level of coming to that realization. You understand? Before they now play whatever they play and put So I really appreciate that. And to, I want to ask one simple question, and I will, I will love you to. I would love you to answer me, sir. Hello? Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. There was something. Yeah, because I, um, before that, if it's possible to, this, I, that um, um, debate that happened between uh, uh, Mazi Jonathan and Dr. Donald, I love calling him Dr. Donald so that the world will see our professor and doctor, the level it is. That's why I love always calling that man. <laughs> I, the, the same way they did that debate, I think they should organize another debate where people can call it. I don't think it's, a, it's because it's just like they run away. They should come together, people calling not to use abusive words and ask questions so that our Biafras will get more clarification. Because there was something he said when Jonathan was talking about the historic part. He said, he said if we uh, are used here, then that thing, I now said, okay, because I don't have opportunity to ask them. So I said, this bloody, you are the face, I Jaga. So I said, let me drop this question for you, if you can give more light. Because he said, because we are, I now said, then what makes us humans or educated beings? Is it to jump into the airplane and fly to America or China, try to learn a skill or so-called profession to add with a foreign language just to satisfy our administrative, that is our animal need? Of food and pleasure, intimidating only black people, or is education, or is education, or are we humans or educator, or educated people who are supposed to develop to the level of connecting the dots? That is making research from the present to the past using information available in our disposal to know and to verify the truth and to create a positive path 
for ourselves and our people. So which among these two that I stated now makes us human? Thank you very much. Thank you, brother. All grace to you. Thank you, brother. Thank you, brother. Very, very intelligent one. Do this work. Thank you, brother. Thank you, brother. On there, on there, okay, change your doctor. Haga, my food doctor. On there, okay, on there, brother. I came to you, sound of very intelligent. On a canolo. On a canolo. I will go, yeah. I won't have a doctor. So, my brother, that question, I got this out here. I got this out here. Your doctor got that one. I won't make you sell it. I think uh, some of us know why we are here. We learn every day. Uh, we are not taking it personal. We don't want extremists in this struggle. I am I'm power such a woman. Extremists be you woman or, or man. And we don't do we don't you don't do you use emotion to fight for freedom. I need the emotion to fight for freedom. You don't try it. You're gonna be objective. Yes, can you hear me? Yeah, why not make you say that? Yes, go on, go on, brother. Yes. I need to better. Yeah, yeah, okay. Thank you so much, brother. I must appreciate you for for that very invitation uh, you'll be bringing our uh, mm -hmm. intelligence mm -hmm. uh, because uh, I've already missed that very educative uh, program every Saturday. I don't know that uh, after the interview itself and the thing right to that uh, area. But yes, you gave a big commands. Jonathan will be invited. We need to be hearing that. Because there's no way we can be shouting Biafra is our religion, Biafra is our religion, and we use another two religions cannot if you practice two religions, you cannot master any of them. One must precede another. So we Biafra shouting Biafra is our religion. Biafra is our religion. And we don't want to leave the other religion that we are holding very close to us. So there's no way we can be radical and there's no way we can develop the ideology of religiosity in Biafra. So Biko, Maze, Nga Lai Kobo, Nga Maze, Kwa, Tunisi, Ingle, Sika, Pata, Nga, next week. Jonathan invites also. We need those two people to be educating to be educating us and be educating Biafras. Biko all the very, very important. And they will take a look at like you can come and give you what's all kind of was a private matter. All right, all right, brother. Okay, okay, okay. You call me on your on your speaker. Thank you, brother. Uh suggest on these two people, you know, could I have suggest on Daniel? Don't listen to these people. What up, Lord? They want to bring division among us. <laughs> these two people that call now and bring this suggestion. I don't know them. Oh, yeah, our people. Don't listen to these people. No, uh, the, the, the leadership have said we should stop discussing about that. These people that call you now, they are top pilot. They want to bring division. <laughs> uh, our brothers, I have heard what you said. Uh, it's, a, it's not a, it's not a regular program. Once in a blue moon, it's good at least. Um, normally, even all these people that are speaking to us in the Dobia, sometimes they need to come to our own platform and encourage us. Media world need to be equipped. Forget about nine. Normally, normally, let me make this thing clear. Normally, normally, see media warriors. Every she just say they have a platform. Some of us are trying their own. I have said this thing last time. Every she just say they have a platform. Studio. Beautiful, yeah, yeah. Link up with different platforms. I need to go behind everywhere. I mean, I know to say, oh, Akwa no go. They are, they are giving us sad. <laughs> That's why we are doing it in this way. Some of you are telling me, oh, I'm going to meet you now on TikTok. I can't be here and be the other side now. It's once in a blue moon. I know that place is a very nice place to be. I will be there next time. I'll be there next. Yes, can you hear me? Yeah, I'm madam, madam. Yes, you're welcome, brother.
You just won the biggest fight of your career, you know. Um, America doesn't want to hear your thoughts on Jesus. And, you know, keep that stuff at home. <laughs> the religion they're fighting and you're being interviewed, they want to hear about the fight. Love Jesus. Jesus is the cost of. So, my Jesus is the cost of. I will sue you. The man say, I keep that stuff at home. I brother, how was the fight? You know, I say, because the name of Jesus Christ. On your chest, I keep that stuff at home. It's all you want. I just don't have to do it publicly. Wait, we need to repeat on your chat. Yeah, uh, first and foremost, I want to thank uh, Jesus Christ, my Lord and Savior. Without Him, I will be nothing. You just won the biggest fight of your career, you know? Um, America doesn't want to hear your thoughts on Jesus. And, you know, keep that stuff at home. <laughs> you out there fighting and you're being interviewed, they want to hear about the fight. Love Jesus all you want. You just don't have to do it publicly. It's okay, it's okay, not it's okay. Oh, yeah, Africa call. Oh, will oh Jesus already win, yeah. Half a quite half a yadwa for yadwa. The man has to keep that stuff at home. No, 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 Give that stuff at home. <laughs> Let me call our brother before I go. Let me just speak your call. Yes, can you hear me? Can you hear me? <laughs> can you hear me? <laughs> voice got high. Voice got high. I got my call to call off. Voice got high. I'm not I know. I think. Let me manage it. Yes, go on. Hi. I'm Germany. Your voice are not okay, brother. Don't be offended. Your voice are not okay. Voice up down, up down. Let me go to our brother from Netherlands. Brother, voice are not audible. They were from Germany. 
Ever can shame with full network. Why are you that stuff at all? Yes, can you hear me? Nigeria, good evening. Yes, brother, welcome. But, uh, you see, can you feel it, man? For sure, for sure, man. Uh, I was in the blue one. A lot of things in Madam Mala. I know it just means here, man. You know? oh, when right. I come on, the, the, the problem with Indoji, we found out that every day, I know the man, I know that you can't come back, I know that you can't come back, I know that you can't come back. It's difficult. You know, my dad, they were 90 years old. When I tell them, who bought this man? I said, man, I know. What is this? The parallel. What is the parallel? I'm sure this is you. So, my dad, Papa, I know there is something, some secret, the mother of Maria, call him mother. Mm. I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to go to the house. If I hate you, I have some everything, but I know something to do with, with us as, as people. If I want to go to the house, I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to go to the school teacher. No, I wasn't was aware of your father for saving his story to send that money. I'm going to go to the house. This is what I what is wrong with us? Green If we send the Jesus 
He never do anything for us in our life. Rather, they brought death to us. Le konya nka le kwele kwele kese ona ona tonu ka ago in the midnight. Now the best thing is no. I feel we all we make fundraising. Men need to fundraising. Got travel somewhere in Iceland. Travel no. So so no. A very massive land. Wire fence. Four more country there. Hmm? Before I get back to my gate. I may, before I may, before I nationalize, I'll give away a nationality. I'll give a little example. You could change that in a hand like the same country. Though, you did not gonna lie me. That's why I'm not wago. I'm gonna turn on wago. We tell me here, I'm gonna turn on wago. My bank is the distance name. My brothers. Ha. I wouldn't let them to turn on one other everywhere. I said, I'm gonna give him, I said, I'm gonna give him this compound. I'm gonna one look with the senator. I'm gonna give him that door here. Okay, this man about uh, Ezato, Ato Ezato. That's the thing. The 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 He said he used to change. What am I explaining, brother? He said he's used to change to lion and go out and come back. Koto di bru no cap kaso ni rupu ko yoto ya. Bru no di se uwa ni ebu na nui. Mo la ndia ndia na Malaysia that time. Have hair with a jacket. Hair with a jacket. You have to see yarika yarika so you know that side. Our people na mpako. This these people no bother. I want to I want to go out and have to go flavor go out. Make way for game changer. Put a put a put a hanik. Ndi hanik. Tia susu jesu ni bro wa noi. Susu ni fun susu ni shish. Ndi ndi boba ko. Po po re chat kawos. Kawos no no man. Your son has been in detention for many years now. Oba sa para na ge. I said, I'm giving you excuse. Now, me tell us, make him begin the insult to Buhari. Why you go insult to the chief commander of this state? But uh, uh, the, the court say he should be released now. Even though you say he insulted the president. But the court say, allow him to go. He didn't commit any crime. So you don't want to speak up. You don't want to question the federal government. 
Why would I do that? Now me send them. Let him just go meet his own fellow iPod and I made a reason. Nah, no get time, I no get energy for blood. You know, saying I'm full of man. I don't want problem. And they were our father. So you have to say, you have to say, you have to say, One day, how come my mother was fatherless? That was an issue, no, no, boom. How come my mother was more than more than to have these people? Junketing around as our elders. They're going to be doing that quite a bit. And then I'm brandy. I'm not here to segregate, but all you know, I'm here to say, I'm not here to say, I'm not here to say, he always win through court. Forget, don't worry, he's coming. He's coming. He know what he's doing. Yeah, they can rule of law. The, the place you do this is where there's rule of law. There's no rule of law. We are going to watch now. Uh, I will run anyway. 29th of May, how many days now? I swear, yeah, you know, you're going to come After all, Buhari, when my American was shouting, he has no certificate. Buhari, make an interview him. That person is not Buhari. Tell him to speak for food. And a very a very sim simple example. Journalist, confront Buhari, tell him to speak for food to verify that he's Buhari. Or what you joke? Jagaba no care no couldn't jag him it. All the same people now. All the same people. All eight years. And I and I all I rock here, rock here eight years. And do you know what do you know do you know my annoyance? My annoyance is not that they rig them in or they rig them out, sorry. Do you know my annoyance? The same people now mark their faces. They will come in the next four years to bring another slogan. Or well, maybe reclaim our mandate now. Go and get your PVs, reclaim our mandate. It just a look them. I couldn't they have a robe that time. Then you could have another format. They will now begin to use their hand to be telling you what the candidate will do. Go and get your PVC. This one is not the one of 2023. This is different. Can't you see that we, uh, we now have stopped? We we'll have learned from what happened before, so we will not allow it to repeat itself again. Go and get your PVC, you're right. Let us vote the cabal out. The same people now, black and now, that they are chicken in the next four years. One day we are foolish. Foolish people no know me. Arabola. Arabola, now, ha, 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 blem, or other man. Um, I want to leave it here. Not to talk me of it already. Call our brother from Germany. I'm very leadership. sorry I cannot hear your um, leadership was important. Even look at leadership. Was APC. <laughs> APC. 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 Hey, you only APC treatment. And when there's somebody on a Labour Party, Alcor, you know, guys, you know, guys, different stations. They put that now. We Labour Party, we rig, we loot, we run away with ballot buses. An official of Labour Party. Official. I'm asking you how much you go. An official of the Labour Party is now confessing. I get you on there, I get you on. Look at her, look at her. How say they wrong? No, we talk about now. No, they look me. Oh, you know who my oh, I'm gonna say he may well be dead. We don't wanna start. Was involved in forgery. Okay. Of court of appeal judgment. Okay. That is going to be a discussion for now. They are hearing me now. If they don't know, a petition already has been for them with fact. Okay. I am not going to be part of that criminal infraction. You're accusing your party of forgery. It's not accusing. It is what they did. It's an accusation. Yeah, it, no, it's, it's an, an allegation. Yeah, it's an allegation that I've written to the police. Yeah, and yeah. we come. So that I don't want the general to see police as being, you know, maybe, or is APC or PDP that sent them. No. It was what our people did. Our people? In, you know, just because they wanted some candidates to run for election, they manipulated, they presented false information yeah, yeah. to the court of appeal. Yeah, yeah. And I make just because they want some candidate to win. Yeah, and I told them no, because criminal infraction doesn't have years. Yeah, yeah. At any point, <laughs> Dr. Abayomi, Dr. Opa Doctor, National Publicity Secretary, National Publicity Secretary, Labour Party. Okay. Right. And we have black people. And we have black people and wickedness. You say, eh? Any young or Kinoke Kran, say, Om Om of you. Oh, no, I cran, you turn that fire you. No, 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 make anything we don't like, make a talk. We we are not deserve, we don't deserve to live, brother. Le quen, le quen, le quen. On the Europe, I'm dying in a the same country. Here, I want to be a tribalism. Brother, we are not in the same place. We can't be in the same country. God forbid, Barton. Here, I want you, Europe. Am I a chameleon? National 
publicity secretary, Labour Party. Now, how come now? I say, Peter will be there, forge some, so many things. And he's going to testify. No party is immune. I don't want to tell you, I don't want to tell you, can't beat them, you join them. And then, just because they was some candidate to win. And I told them, okay, no, because criminal infraction doesn't have years. Oh, you know what? At any point in time, police can knock at your door. And because I was involved in that matter, the federal court, I have to, you know, put le, 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 hey, le, le, le. I like, I love what is going on. <laughs> I, love, I love this thing. This man now is, the, is just like the criminal in Finland. I don't want to say that in IPOB. Let us see what they wrote in this in this car. Unu le plo bua. What they said address very well. And I told them no because criminal in fact obedient obedient have years. At any point in time, police can knock at your door. Let you obedient. <laughs> and let me tell you the truth. Let me let me tell you the truth. It's true that he's the publicity secretary. It's true now. All his position. As national. I didn't say state. I didn't say national overall. You know what is national? <laughs> okay, maybe you didn't know. Overall. National publicity secretary. When you have to show you. I'll put it on the Now, party who. Party had to and had to Loot some ballot boxes, key some people, and then forge some documents. Ah, where are you over? You go ahead and now we go freedom. I know America, I try to move on and go at it. We we are not in alliance. We are alliance with the dude who send the boho and the pa and the bandu is coming to speak to us. Ah, we are out of pilot. We move now. We are now with alliance. Where is the alliance now? Who knows about exile? Government, government in exile. <laughs> uh -huh. Uh -huh. At least no be there. How do they feel? I know I feel it. I got that kind of with mama with this man. Okay. Okay, second. And because I was involved in that British leadership, British. was involved in forgery. Forgery, okay. Of court of appeal judgment. Okay. Mm. That is going to be a discussion for now. They are hearing me now. If they don't know, a petition already has been forwarded with fat. I am not going to be part of that criminal infraction. You're accusing your party of forgery. It's not accusing. It is what they did. It's an accusation. Yeah, it, it's, it's, an, an yeah it's an allegation that I've written to the police. They will come. So that I don't want the general to see police as being, you know, maybe, or is PC or PDP that sent them. No. It was what our people did. Our people. In, you know, just because they wanted some candidates. To run for election, Nigeria. Ha. They manipulated. Nigeria. They presented false information. Nigeria. To the court of appeal. Ha. And I eh. just because they was a candidate to win, and I told them no, because criminal infraction doesn't have years. At any point in time, police can knock at your door, and because I was involved in that matter, the federal court, I have to, you know, quickly set the record straight. I don't want tomorrow somebody will come and meet me that oh you are an accessory. To this, don't don't go. N i g e r i a, n i g e r i a. I we Nigeria. If you say nine, g e r i a. Me kuku no kwato fani kaya de. Kuku kuku joni yoku yourself. Ni manat na eh? Hi. Onye kira ni onye kira ni me mistake. I can't clear this, I declare. Or ordinarily me cannot clear people like this. I know fit now now for you. Why would I clear something like this? I declare. It means that I'm not smart. Okay, yeah, my people got it like this. Mm wipe one away. So that they will not suffocate others that are living. Because I have the power now to create. So we are going to leave it here. I get all of you. Kawa hapa fake. Kawa hapa blue bident. The MW show. Already, type or type or national publicity secretary. You see his name, Ray. Ray, I, 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 I,
this thing is a tribal, and that's why we are annoyed that P2B came up. Because they are a joke now. Mm -hmm. Oh, you learn about Higgin at home, you learn about Get Home, Get Home APC, Yao Yoruba, and Aosa. You learn about Get Home PDP, Yao, I think I say, and Aosa, full animal. You learn about your brother. When you are born late, you are now, I want to go. Yes, can you hear me? Can you hear me? Yes. Make it fast, brother. You just come and I want you to go. Yes, hello? Oh, your network, brother. Network, brother. Network, really bad. Network, really bad, brother. We are going to take it another time. So, what I was saying. P2B deceive a lot of people not to realize the game that is playing on. We have said this a long time ago. Let me not repeat it. We deceive a lot of you not to wake up with anger and demand for the release of our leader, which is the speaker, which is the mouthpiece of many of us. But here we are P2B. Then it is still now. It is called election. You lose, you be be As if you didn't know that he's rigged before. Oh, that's how they do it. That's why I want to go. I have to leave you here with Mazen Nam because this is going to end in the next eight minutes. Let me see what is what I have here. You know As it is a fact that when you fight corruption, surely corruption will fight back after it captures the trending conspiracy of few Nigerian army generals and former heads of state who allegedly promised Buhari to let off his earlier intentional investigation of one eighty-two million dollar Halibutton bribe scandal, so he may continually govern the zoo in peace. Army generals are involved in the bribery scandal. Or Basango is involved. Even now, CNN have investigated. They have now implicated our Basango. I call it our scratch now. You know, you know, man. Let it, let it, let it vote for the right candidate. You know, Kwaru Binazo, Chameleon, Yoruba, Yoruba. Oh, no, 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 so we say some idiotic moron. I know how to be no be about. Man, I say don't talk like that. You know you are bringing division. No, we're in alliance with them. Don't cause this for us. Which alliance? The the greatest mistake to say we align with this people. We have gone to so many demonstrations. You can't see them. Hi, see, see, see one person with a flag. We went to Belgium now. Where did you see them? We saw Ambazonians. Ambazonians are in a even never have been member for many years. Ambazonia we are there presently. You're about to grab it, huh? Even they don't even know how to sing the national anthem. Oh, move oh, do where, oh, do I will ah, car grout. What is nonsense? They don't know how to sing that. How they are serious? Here, we another distraction. Soon, we have a couple of men who form news of become somebody will come. My don't talk like that. You know, I did that. Come on, Zuzu Jesonica. What are they doing? The one that he called himself, um, the uh, what is that old man? All oh, this anyway. Buhari, you tell me about Charlie or something. Yeah, listen. Make sure son of Buhafa on on a detention. Yeah, no matter what, make sure I'm I'm going to go there. Yeah, no matter what, make sure no no free. If you can, okay, just what the media want to program. Let us learn how to be mean. You don't forget that this nonsense. Can I make a can I make a This is what is killing us. Let us be mean. That's why we need to destroy Christianity. Christianity cannot be a work. Destroy it. Destroy the mindset of Christianity. They preach about peace, forgiveness, uh, pray for your enemy to repent. Don't use bad to pay bad. Use good to pay bad. Uh, at the last day, we'll get a judgment from God. So that let us keep our hands clean. This is their teachings. Carry that teaching. Throw inside the pit toilet. See, God forbid, pattern. Be mean. Don't forgive your enemy in life. No reason whatsoever. Somebody that wanted you dead, you discover. Never in life. Avenge every death. No forgiveness. Never pray for any idiot to repent. Never in your life. Don't go for peace. Don't be a peacemaker. Don't try him. Always stand on ground, defend what belongs to you, but don't go for, don't go to attack people. Stay on your own. Don't allow any idiot to trespass. 
These are the things that are missing in us. And that's why we don't want this Christian mindset in this struggle. I get it right one day. That's why Biafra is our religion. Many of you don't know. Pran this nonsense, Kelly Oka, does being. I've been living here for how many years? I, don't, I never pray. I never go to church. I don't read the Bible. I, am I not alive? Who is responsible for that? No, no, who is now? What a God does not do, does not do. Who is responsible for it? I have swear, when you see there's power in the mouth, na lie. Ha, cha, oka. Ha, ho, ka, bute. Man, there's power in spoken word. No. The, only, the, the reason why they told you that is because when you give threat, there will be a consequences. Oh, yeah, there's power in spoken word. So, in your threat, make sure you stood by, by it. I bet I bet you threat like an autopilot. I'm going to do this now. And you didn't do anything. At the end of the day, we'll come for you. I want to die by I put my head before now. I want to die by a ghastly motor accident tomorrow as I'm driving to work. You know the work. What must be must be. I get destroyed. All this kind of mindset in us. We'll be a loser. People that are living, they are living strong. They believe in realities of life. As we are saying, he will help us. How I know I can help our self, but he just a motivator. No child better destroy you. Missionaries better end than useless. Methodists like cannot speak Igbo complete one hour, even ten minutes without putting it English, unless I'm very very careful. Who cost it? The missionary. Is it a good thing? The answer is no. This is it. During the time when we don't even know what is English, um, I can't even see Igbo. And I even had a main tablet before I get a case. I bought a tablet. I'm going to tablet in English. Okay. Nejako. Nejako. Sometimes your school fees. Okay. Mama, the boy, man. Ah, go away. Look out of this man. Tell me if you've seen him before. I'm going to go away and I'm going to go away. Which man is your father? I don't have a knife. And who buys you these clothes? I don't have a knife. You go to school? Who pays your school fees? Now, look out of this man and tell me if you've seen him before. Do <coughs> you like to live with him? Who do you want to live with? Hi, <laughs> Hi, how much is that? I had to knock a public toilet. We are nobody. I'm a very chinu na gagaswa toilet. Then I, then I make clean, I make clean. Then 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 I make who is taking care of their own parents? As a beast is taking care of others in the name of caregiver. Go on your their own grandmothers in the village. So we have to go here. I want to thank so many of you that are here. Remember, bless. Remember, bless. We are going to meet when it is necessary. Like I said, I'm going to do the broadcast to last eight minutes. Let me recognize those that are here before I continue with it. I want to greet you, Bobby King. We said we lost it all. Yes, we lost it, our brother. Zero dignity, set of people. That's what we are. We can't share. I ain't gonna go you. Don't allow anybody to tell you, don't talk if don't talk bad about yourself. Speak bad about yourself. Realize what you are speaking about yourself and walk walk way out of it. You must condemn yourself. Not only condemn it and being on the ground. No. I said condemning yourself, you are standing up to make a correction. You want to make a change. If you don't realize that you are stupid, you can't come out of it now. So when we say, oh, nah, black people, black people, are, are you not a black man? Are you not affected? Are you not still listening to the gospel? Are you annoyed that we are saying black people are useless? I'm not. Collectively, we are a failure. Individually, we will be smart. But collectively, is what we are speaking about. And it matters. That's what be the nation. So we need it. I want to thank all of you. I see Eke Lazarus. I greet you. Chuk Sunday. I promise Solomon, I greet you. Ah, uh, Obina, Nemeka, Metuane, I greet you, brother. Anya Dio Guchibi Kese, good job, bro. I hail you, brothers. I hail you. I want to begin to descend. Um, Kanu Christian, I can say, well done, job, brother. Thank you, brother. Uh, Mazi, Ukonike, Obina, she gives you any prayer. And I'm by a career at that stage. No, 
Everybody will add a state. You can go to my platform. I think uh, maybe send me uh, your WhatsApp number. I will send it to you. We don't need it here anymore. I have a state. Uh, Vit Oxfax say, Correct man, man, say, to sell. I greet you. Our, our lovely. Uh, Danny Funny say, May God help us. Uh, I don't know, brother. Which you be after? I greet you. I see a KK KKGDK. I see Mado Abuchi. And I see Chigo Zeago. I have to go. Thank God. Oh God. Nah. Yes, very sad, very sad. Ah, our lovely brother Victor Jaguar greet you. Umwa Ede said that's why Bob Mali said don't let them fool you or even try to control you. Exactly, brother. And the boo, I greet all of you. I want to begin to descend. I want to descend. Peter Omata Igulo. Good night, Pope Meto. I greet you, brother. I greet you for that honor. Um Chibaki Biafra Biafra. So much in a I greet all of you. I see Ama Yahweh. Bara. One naha one your basra. I see radical media warrior. One of us. One of us. I hail you. Chido Zebiafra, IPOB. brother. I want to begin to descend. Metu will descend. And I'm going to descend with this um, broadcast. It will last for eight minutes and it will come to an end of our leader. Thank you, brother. Chidike, thank you. Uh, our brother, our brother, Jishike, Jishike, our brothers. I see Chuksu Sunday. Promise you, Solomon. Kanu Christian, I can have with all of you. Ochoko. Ah, Ochoko here, our brother from um, Costa Region. We have uh, another Ochoko here from River State. I greet you, brother Ochoko. Oh, you know, if I'm not mistaken. Um, great Bia France. Rich Edu Biafra. Ike Chitin Nachetam. Ah, and the uh, Ike Chukun Naji. You people come at the right time. Ike Chukun and Ike Chi is more or less the same thing. Uh, ah, more I greet all of you. Michael Ezaka, one of us here. I greet you, Michael. Um, I just have to descend. I'm going to give you this eight minutes program of Mazen Nam the Kano on your uh, We are going to continue because without you, we won't be speaking what we are speaking today. Who knows? Oh, we can buy nine shot to our one Nigeria. Who knows? Oh, because without this struggle, now we will kind of an eight and Nigeria must be better. So that's why let us take it easy with our gullible brothers who we'll be speaking with atrocities, angry people with alacrity, people with anger. One don't allow anybody to tell you, say, now why are you aggressive? Yeah, I guess it's because of this. I don't know why are you talking every time you are speaking with aggressiveness. Get where I said, Oh, your yeah, mother. Do you know what he's thinking? He and they make and they before you before. Anna, Anna, that boy, Charlie, Anna, me, Anna. Now our mothers. We don't joke with our mothers. I don't know how you see your mother. I don't know how you feel. See your mother suffering. I don't know. Maybe many of you are so wicked in nature. Like we're here. That's why we are talking. I want to thank all of you. Israel, don't watch you. Watching like Jesus love you. It's so bad. It's so bad. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. No time. In the criminality going on in the zoo, uh -huh. Uh -huh. that is what is happening in the zoo. Some of you don't know, some of you are so, I can't call you basilic. You are, you are foolish. You don't know what is going on in the zoo. At all. They have threatened Buhari. We too, we are corrupt. We know the things about you. CNN is uh, CNN, the Opa Hamu, one name the can not ready the other. We know things about you that you don't know. Mm. If you want to have a peaceful reign, don't investigate Halibati. And that is your so called uh, 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 fighter of corruption. He he is a thief like the rest of them. All of you Nigerians are criminals. If you're a Nigerian baboon monkey, you're a thief. You can bend it, you can hide, you can run, you can pretend you are a kleptomaniac. You're a criminal. You are a thief. If they leave you with money, you will steal it. That is how you know a Nigerian a baboon or a monkey. Every Nigerian is a thief. Ndiyoshikunobu. Zoo born pastor Sunday Adelaja has blamed widespread corruption in the zoo to be caused by Nigerian churches and pastors. When I preach, people listen. I will tell you the Some of you have been to your so called churches today to go and worship idolaters. One day you will tell you you believe it. I don't worship us. Let me continue. This very pastor is Yoruba man, Sunday Adelaja. He said that corruption in the zoo with baboons and monkeys who causes them. He said 
Nigerian churches, those of you that go to church on the Sunday, you know who and pastors, very clear. People are being slowly but surely. People are beginning to come out to embrace this gospel. To embrace this gospel in truth and in honesty. I tell you. The founder of Embassy of God Church in Kiev, Ukraine, the largest Pentecostal church in Europe, in an interview, faulted the wrong customs that churches in Nigeria are promoting. He's a church man. He's telling you that churches in the zoo are criminal empires. You think Chukwabem will bless you? No wonder. Because you are evil and wicked. Let me quote what this pastor said. Most of our value system is influenced by faith and religion. Everybody copies radio, therefore, of course, nobody allowed the use of the word value system or the first value system in their lexicon until we came. Everybody listens to radio, dear friend. I must continue. We are here to teach them, and we are teaching them, aren't we? Most of our family system is influenced by faith and religion. That is why I am saying it is the faulty and corrupt messages we have introduced. He, that is why I is a Yoruba man, but I have to tell you I like him. I'm sorry to say that I actually like a Yoruba man, but I do. And I will tell you why in a minute. I like people that speak the way he does. He said we. He did not exclude himself. He said we. What we have done. That is why I have respect for him. Let me repeat. That is why I am saying it is the faulty and corrupt messages we have introduced to our pulpit that is responsible for producing corrupt practices in our society. This is a man speaking. He said, we, what we have done. That is why he has my respect. If you rise up as a man or a woman, you accept the blame for your own shortcomings, I will have regard for you. He said, we. He did not say them. All of us together. We are corrupt. I am a pastor, but we pastors are corrupt. The messages we are preaching is what is fueling corruption in the zoo. Let me continue. He, he went on to say, a pastor could say that somebody will be a millionaire before the end of the year. Whereas we are in November or December, there are 500 people in the auditorium. All of them will shout amen. Yet pastors don't correct them, saying no. You would not become a millionaire before the end of the, of the year, even if you shout amen for the whole day. The only person that will become a millionaire is the person that has worked for it. The only person that would become a millionaire is the person that has at least signed the contract. When pastors don't clarify that, everybody begins to believe that some miracle will happen. This is a European man speaking. They brought in this fraud. So it is from them maybe it is going to end as well. He is speaking the truth. And his name is Sunday Adelaja. And I have respect and regard for him. I do. I must tell you that. Because here we are objective. This man has spoken sense. And therefore he merits our respect. He's telling the world the truth. That the problem of corruption is caused by churches. Church on our bag, I'm not gonna talk. Susu wash the car through the cotora deeper one hour. Oh, Crota is jamming our system. Now he passes jamming our system in our None of you will call it over for, oh, please, uh, um, officers of state, head of um, the COC, how, what do we do? How do we stop? Which equipment can we buy to stop this jamming? How about an You see, our CHK is not on, please. But today, you have got to your useless churches. Everybody, if I don't say, you can't give them money. The man is telling you here that you are all hypocrites. All of you are hypocrites. We are live and direct. If you don't like the truth, you can go and hang yourself. I don't give a toss. The truth is what we preach. If you don't like it, you can disappear for all I know. I don't care. There is scandal everywhere. Will you be can you go to prison? I want you to be jailed. I took for key. Throw away the keys when you lock him up. Chibi can make you a thief. This man is a criminal and a vagabond responsible for the looting and the pillaging of the zoological republic. We must continue. We need to continue. According to Buhari, the pedophile and terrorist, if we don't kill corruption, corruption will kill us. That is why you must kill Chibi Kamech before he kills us. This popular 
have interpreted all over my mind as I read the very detailed petition by the integrity group and anti-corruption, non-governmental opposition based in Iguacha against the former governor of the Oyo Rich River State, Honorable Chibikele Tumion Azahonyo Yoruba, Amechi, Amechi headed the Buhari campaign organization, a man who is corrupt led Buhari's presidential campaign. The said petition detailed a list of financial embezzlements criminal breach of trust and the criminal conversion of river state funds amounting to more than 70 billion naira against Rotimi Amechi Kanye Onyandi Yoruba. I will address him as a Yoruba fan. His name is Rotimi Amechi. To authenticate their allegation, the group backed up their petition with a sworn affidavit. This petition dated 31st July 2015 has since been delivered to the zoo president. Or the zoo so administrator, the pedophile and terrorist, Muhammad, and himself a corrupt man of PTF, Muhammad Buhari, the man who received seven hundred million dollars in suitcases from his own ADC. Ask him, and he will tell you. And they have also given to the EFCC chairman as well.